This is about using Ionix. My demonstration here does nothing musically interesting, but to those who haven't thought very much about OSC, Open Sound Control, it could offer some insights. At least I hope so. I wanted to demonstrate some inter-process control ideas that could be useful in live performance situations or for sketching out uh, creative ideas that uh, might originate in visual images. I'll show some two-way interaction of Ionix with other applications and potential live performance uses. I use some very familiar classic FM synth sounds via a, a great Max MSP example patch that provided with Max called XFM, X.FM. Sounds heard here are not the point, they're, they're incidental. They don't show any pitch selection ideas, at least not algorithmically in software. Uh, pitches will be controlled by the keys that I press on the uh, keyboard, the MIDI keyboard here. But Ionix's messages will affect the sound, the harmonic content, the, uh, the timbre. To get the OSC message passing back and forth between Max and Ionix, I added some uh, sub-patches to the XFM example patch that uh, mainly deal with converting um, the MIDI from the uh, keyboard controller here, and it sends commands to, uh, to Ionix. The MIDI uh, first goes through a Max patch that converts uh, the MIDI signals to OSC for uh, consumption by Ionix, and then Ionix generates other OSC messages from its cursors and triggers and so on directly to the FM synthesizer to alter the sound in real time. These two triggers are uh, samples of a, a soprano singer doing a voice warm-up and a kind of an aspirant outburst. As for uh, the cursors, three of them are uh, the most interesting. There's the blue, the orange ellipse, and the red, the little red one up toward the top. For two of them, the blue one and the orange one, I control the rate via these rotary uh, potentiometers, which are just the very familiar continuous controllers. For the red, the little red controller, I start and stop that cursor via the low C sharp, the second lowest key on my keyboard here. This controller, the data slider, affects the speed of the main timeline, which will be uh, evident in this lowest green cursor and a green curve that goes along the bottom of the fractal image. The only signals that go directly to the FM synthesizer rather than to Ionix first are the keys that I press, the piano keys, with a, with a couple of exceptions that I'll get into in a moment. So here's how I've uh, mapped the keyboard. These two lowest keys, the C natural and the C sharp, are like switches. The rest of the keys are just the notes that, are, that get sent to the FM synthesizer as I play them. But the two lowest keys, uh, the C natural forces the uh, Ionix timeline back to the beginning. So everything gets reset. All of the curses go back to their starting positions. It does an Ionix fast rewind immediately followed by an Ionix play, a sort of a meta command. I mentioned the C-sharp. The C-sharp turns on and off, toggles on and off that red cursor. 
The remaining keys just come directly into the FM synthesizer as normal note on off events. <laughs> So this is how I map the, the OSC messages from those uh, three cursors uh, for manipulating the timbre, uh, the harmonic richness, or maybe to some ears the ugliness of that FM synthesizer. Blue cursor uh, controls the harmonicity ratio of the FM synth. The green cursor, which is the main cursor, which I don't have independent, uh, uh, I don't have independent speed control, it's just from the timeline, as the other three cursors I have independent control, that green cursor controls the modulation depth. The red cursor uh, controls the frequency shift depth. Cheerio and happy cursing. <laughs>